In this video, we will learn how to access and specify the defaults for lights, outlets, and switches, and discuss the set as default edit tool in relation to electrical objects. To start, we will access the default settings dialog. This can be accessed by navigating to edit, default settings, using the menu, or by selecting the wrench icon located on the toolbar. In the default settings dialog, expand the electrical category, select the general electrical option, and click edit. Notice that at the top of the default library objects list are different light options. This is where we can set the default light fixtures as well as their properties for lights that are placed on the ceiling, outside of the structure, and on walls. Click on Light, Ceiling in this list, and notice the 3D preview on the right, as well as the symbol name that is listed. Click on the Library button to open the Select Library Object dialog, where you can choose the light fixture of your choice. In this example, we will select the Recessed Down Light 4 option and click OK. Now, anytime we select the light tool in this plan and place a light in the ceiling, the Recess Down Light 4 symbol will be used. If we want to edit characteristics associated with the selected electrical object symbol, we can click the Edit button. This opens a specification dialog where a wide array of properties can be customized to your liking, such as the light's dimensions, light data, like the intensity and color, how the light appears in 2D views, materials, and more. We will click OK to close the dialog without making any changes. Back in the electrical defaults, we can also see the options that are available for the various outlet and switch tools. We have 110 volt defaults that are used when the 110 volt outlet tool is used, 220 volt defaults that are used when the 220 volt outlet tool is used, GFCI defaults that are associated with the GFCI outlet tool, and several switch defaults. Each of these defaults can be adjusted in a similar way to the light ceiling default that we just changed. Simply click on the list item that you would like to modify, then click on the library or edit button. At the bottom of the electrical defaults dialog is a section called default heights. This is an area where you can specify the heights at which electrical outlets and switches are initially placed when the switch or outlet tools are used. Do note that if the use default heights box is unchecked, the fields below will not apply to newly placed electrical objects. Instead, they will use the height saved with their symbol. We will now close the electrical defaults and open the rope light defaults. Here is where you can specify various default properties associated with the rope light tool, including the elevation, light spacing, light data, and more. The final topic we will discuss in this video is the Set as Default Edit tool. This tool allows you to easily and quickly apply the settings in a selected object's specification dialog to the defaults for that type of object. This can prove to be useful in situations where you may have already made extensive customizations to an electrical object in your plan and would now like to have that customized object as your default going forward. Do note that this tool is not dynamic when working with electrical objects meaning when the tool is used, it will not update all previously placed electrical objects in the plan. To use this tool, select an existing electrical object located in a plan, then click on the Set as Default Edit tool located along the Edit toolbar. Once this tool is activated, a question dialog will appear stating the default that will be updated. Click Yes to proceed with updating the default to use the selected object, or no to cancel the operation. 